What's up? Are we taping? Oh, yeah, girl, we back. We is back. What's up, y'all? I know you missed us. I know you have. Mm -hmm. Your favorite haters. Yup. We back. We are back. It is Urban Man's Fantasy. Now, I just want y'all to look real quick because, see, Miss Swantavious has gotten very thicker. I heard that they like them thicker. Girl, you got luscious. Luscious. Uh, luscious. I, was in, I was in Florida, you know, competing with Miss um, CEO who changed her name. She done changed her name trying to get a uh, restraining order, witness protection stuff out on me. But I found her. But I, they like them thick in Duval, Jacksonville. Duval. Shout out to Jacksonville. So it is every man's fantasy, every single man's fantasy, Miss Swan Tavius Jackson, baby. And I am your girl, Shapata Queen, your hood fantasy, yo, William. Yo. Now what's been going on with you? We gotta get an a update, because it's been some years since y'all seen this. I done had two more kids, three more boyfriends, and a whole bunch of mess. What's been <laughs> going on with you, babe? What's been going on? Girl, you know I had to go to my sister's little event. Okay, what event is this? Which she one? went and got a Nobel Prize. A Nobel Prize? Yes. For what? Nuclear fusion and clean, clean energy. All this. Okay, did you have fun? It was all right. Oh, it was all right. Mama was there, though. So that's all you did? You went down there and asked? Girl, you know, I was still working on my album. Oh, okay. Yep, Hood Fantasy. That's still going to come out. It's been some, we, it's been some years. Girl, you know, we're still going to be stomping them roaches. Stomping Remember? down them the roaches. roaches. Right now, wait a minute, girl. wait a minute. Now look, now look, girl, look, I can't come to people's house when they got, now I'm back in Ohio, they got bed bugs, nests, yes, flies, stuff. you know, I don't do everybody's house, so yeah. Mm. You want to invite us to your event, we don't do bed bugs. No. We don't do nope. that. So get yourself together. Get your life, get as Tamar says. Get it, get mm. it right, get it right, tight and together, right now. Okay, so, before we get started, mm -hmm. and we talk about everything that's been going on in the world, because we got to catch up to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't catch up with three years, but we gonna try. But um, we need to have a toast. Let's celebrate. Let's just celebrate and have a good moment with us, cause I'm back with my girl, and we about to take over our candy TV. We about to They're take over. They trying to over. bring it back, so mm -hmm. we coming back too. Y'all can't do right. nothing without us. Nothing, baby. Nothing. You so, are nothing. What you got? I know you got something to drink for us. So what girl, you know we in? got this wild Irish rose. Oh, liquor. that is my drink. It's the shit, girl. girl about what's been going on in the world because it's time for us to do some serious hating today. Okay. Some serious hating. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and um toast. What's, what are we going to toast to? To hating bitches. Oh, hate them. Bow down, bitches. Bow, Bow down. down. Yes. Speaking of bowing down, bitches, Beyonce got a new song out called Bow Down and that's why we say it. And now look, this is a grown right. show. So we might say a few curse words, but we grown. So excuse us, you know, to all the babies because some babies like to watch it and we understand because we are entertaining and beautiful and fabulous mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. If you got a single daddy, tell them to call me. Well, if you got a married daddy, I'll take them to the really don't matter to me. But, I'll um, take the leftovers. Okay, but mm -hmm. um, Beyonce got a new song out. Right. Well, she got an album coming out or something like that. She been in the studio, all that good stuff. But she got the song that came out and it's Bow Down. Right. In this song, it's all good. It's... Um, and then she talking to everybody, she's singing a little Beyonce moment, doing a little thing. Right. But out of nowhere, she just say, bow down, bitches. Bow down, bitches. Bow, bow down, bitches. Now, that's, that's cute. But who, who's the bitch? Who she talking to? She ain't talking about my black ass. Why well, don't you? What, Beyonce, I know you want to call me no bitch. Mm-mm. Because if I'm a bitch, your mama a bitch, okay. bitch. Okay. You bleed once a month, just like the rest of the whole right. out there. You ain't no better calling nobody no bitch, telling nobody to bow down. I don't know who you think you are, Beyonce, but I just got a jail. I will go back. Mm -hmm. I promise you, I will go back. Who are you calling a bitch? It certainly ain't me. First of all, you can't be friends with the president, okay? Right. And the president's wife and stuff, and the kids talking about bow down bitches in your songs and stuff. Right. How you gonna do that, Beyonce? Is Michelle a bitch? 
Is Sasha or Malia bitch? Are they bitches too? Who are all you telling to bow down? See, that's the whole thing about cowards. See, Beyonce is a chicken shit coward because she ain't calling no names out. Right. She subliminals. No, right. call them out. That make you hard. Who you want to bow down? Come tell on. me. Tell me. I wish you would say my name, Beyonce, because I will come and show you how to bow down. I got something for you. I wish you would tell me. Oh, I wish you girl. I heard that like I was jamming. I was in my own zone getting up there, bitch. She said, bow down, bitch. Right. I Girl, I dropped my drink when I heard that part. Mm-mm. I was... And then it Bitch, what you say? Killed your flow, right? Right. It's all in your zone and shit. You ain't gonna call me no bitch, Beyonce. Mm. So, yeah, that's my little word for Beyonce out there. And all the people in the beehives. Right. That Beyonce fans, and they mm. love Beyonce, and they worship her and stuff. Pass this message down. Beyonce, a real diva, that real bitch to say real names and not subliminals. So, if you really the queen, if you really hard like that, who you want to bow down, bitch? Because it better right. not be me. It, be, yeah, it better not be me. Girl. Speaking of her, mm. did you see her her little Super Bowl thing? I did see her Super Bowl. Did you like it? What you think about the Super Bowl performance? Um, she did five minutes of singing. She did. And the rest was a little stomping. On them roaches. On them roaches. She was stomping them roaches. Mm -hmm. Flinging them lice bugs. Mm hmm And then she got tired during Halo. Now, what I thought about it, let me tell you, because, you know, I... I was a Beyonce fan because she just did some subliminals and until she cleared that up and she was talking about me and that I ain't really checking for her but I thought it was cool I thought it was real cool I liked it it was entertaining I kept watching everything it was good what I didn't like about it was when she brought Destiny's Child out now I thought it was cool oh we gonna get Destiny's Child back right. I'm ready for booty delicious independent woman say my name say my name bugaboo jump in jump in I was so ready for Destiny's Child because I was a Destiny's Child fan I thought should have happened was the whole Destiny's chat right. came. Where Kelly, was, where you was? ready for this? Michelle, you ready for this? Latoya, you ready for this? Latoya! Are you ready for this? I don't think them bitches are ready for this because first of all, mm -hmm. Beyonce's mic was up here. Mm -hmm. Michelle and Kelly's was down here. Mm -hmm. You had to read their lips to see what they were saying. You sure couldn't hear a word out their mouth. Now I thought that they would at least got to do a little something. Right. They got to jump up. Now, now the whole little Keisha Cole beef. Keisha Cole was beefing with Beyonce. I mean, with Michelle saying Michelle was bad. But Michelle was taking her time. Now, everybody right. know the famous 106 and Park video. Girl, she when Michelle like bust her ass on the stage. So, she wasn't about to bust her ass on the Super Bowl. That would have been way too much. So, I'm not right. mad at her for that. We already saw Teddy from Janet. Right. And we don't want to see. We didn't see nobody bust their ass right. on the Super Bowl. That would have been embarrassing. I would have felt bad for her. So, I was okay with that. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I am sad. Why you sad, girl? Kanye done got that bitch pregnant. Oh, yes. Kim, Kim Kimono is um pregnant by Kanye West. Yes. Should have wrapped it up. Should have used it and, and, and used the rubber. He got that sack chaser pregnant. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's all she wanted. Now you know, All she wanted. Now you know what's funny? What's that? Quiet as his kid. I don't think Kanye's gonna be a good baby daddy. I don't know what y'all think, but I don't think he's gonna be a good baby daddy. I don't think he's gonna be good because this is what I heard, okay? Don't tell nobody. But what I heard between us, us three, I heard that Kanye is, is planning a tour this summer. Now her baby's doing uh -huh. her baby's doing like June or something, and he's planning a tour. Um, this summer, and he set his tour kind of around her pregnancy, but not so he can be there for the birth, so he busy on the birth. Like, he don't even want to be there. He don't even want to be there for the, the birth of his first child. Who does that? Who does that at all? Somebody that don't give a damn. That's who does it. So, obviously, Kim Kimball is going to be getting a whole little, um, Child support check. She would get that, mm, you know, when mm, her mama mm. pimp everybody out. So yes, obviously she gonna mama. make the check mm. be extremely high. But she ain't gonna have no man. She ain't get no ring. She, she ain't really you. pregnant. You know they've been saying that it's like you know she been wearing prosthetic bellies and stuff. But Girl, that's for ratings. But what I thought, you know, I thought that at first I was like, okay, she probably ain't for real. She probably just trying to trap him. But 
her body's starting to swell, like her arms and stuff. And she, ooh, if she can't get that weight out, she's gonna mm. be big and it's, it's gonna be over. Well, you know she's gaining that weight for a a, a, a fitness deal. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's gonna want a maternity. She wanna be like uh, Jessica Simpson. Right. But mm -hmm. you know, you know what? Who's actually really upset? I know you upset because Kanye is your boo. I know he you was. Upset. We had a night. We had our secret rendezvous and mm -hmm. everything. But who else is upset? Big, but, yeah. Who else is upset? Mm -hmm. Is Kimmy. Kimmy Girl's ex-boyfriend, Ray J. He done made a song, said, I hit it first. He when said, he was like number 25, mm -hmm. it was like Burger King. Move to the back of the line, please. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. said, Kanye, you might have it now, but I hit it first. I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. I put it on, 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 on. I put it on. He put it on. He hit it first. So he says. <laughs> I don't think he did, though. That girl ain't got no walls. Ray J, when you got with that girl, she was wide open. Loose as a goose. Mm, she mm, was, mm. You weren't the first one, and your damn sure won't be the last. Won't be the last. Mm -hmm. So let it go, boo, let it go. Hold on. But that song is kind of fly, though. I do like it. I put it on, 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 on. He did put it on. He ain't lying. Everybody mad at Ray J said he hated it, but no, no. If he, that sex tape would have never came out. Which mm -hmm. was a very nice sex tape, by the way. You guys did a good job. I'm waiting for part two. But um, she wouldn't be nobody without that. Because no one cared about nobody. Her. Nobody cared. I don't care your daddy was on the O.J. Simpson trial. Who right. gives a damn? We don't care. We don't care. We but don't when that care. sex tape came out, he said, Ray J put it down. He put it down. He said, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, he liked to kiss down low, too. He liked to kiss below the waist mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. I like Ray J. Ray J called me. <laughs> Girl, be careful. My girl, Fantasia album came out. Yes, girl. Yes, there is, is the truth. Yes, side mm. effects of you is that shit, y'all. Yeah, okay? It is the bomb. I love that album. That album is amazing. Amazing Grace. It is girl. amazing. I love it so much. It is amazing. And um, let me tell you guys why. Because she, you know, Fantasia done been through a lot. Mm. And everybody done judged her and so have we have to, you know. We she, so she done done some shit that wasn't right, Tasia. You know, we done had this you conversation. Stole somebody's man and got right. your cat on your titty. Right, we talking about this. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I done made them, you done made them, she done made them, he done made them, everybody done made them. So you can't keep judging. Mm -hmm. But the thing about Fantasia is as much as they like to judge her. She just gets back up and yes. keeps going and keeps going. And I really respect her for that. I really do. This album is good. Regardless of mistakes you done made, you should listen to it. Because it's good. It's a good album. If it you like music. Beautiful. It's a good album. Now, I got some beef. Because y'all know I'm a fan of Fantasia. You know, mm -hmm. she's my friend. We've actually done had some conversations and stuff. We cool. And I was like, talking to you about this. I was like, I don't understand why the world hates her so much. Why? Why? They act like they ain't made mistakes. They ain't right. like dirt or whatever. They want to be so mean to her. So, the first thing I noticed was Fantasia messed with the married man and the mm -hmm. world wanna go crazy. Oh, you messed with the married man. Oh! oh! Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Okay. I mean, just because your stuff ain't out in the world and on TV right. don't mean that we know you don't mess with your sister's brother, mm -hmm. uncle's cousin. Mm -hmm. Y'all do that all the time. Your yeah, niece's nephew. Yeah, y'all mm -hmm. messy. Y'all messy. So that acting like that this is just so bad. I mean, it, it is bad, but damn. Give her a break. Okay, she did it. She saw it. It's over. Okay? Right. Whatever. Let her go. She got pregnant and they broke up. Shit happens. It is what it is. Ain't Let her go. So the world want to go crazy mm -hmm. when she do this. But I remember when Alicia Keys mm. messed with Swiss B mm. when he was married. And the Michelle. world applauded. And ain't nobody say nothing. Not a god. Damn they said, oh, 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 but they was already separated. Right. Oh, 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 but they was, they was already having problems. Right. Yeah, no, like, it was excuse after excuse after excuse for her. Why? Because she light-skinned. Right. And Fantasia dark-skinned. Why y'all do that? Y'all so messy. She's so messy. Mm. And another thing. Mm. Fantasia, we all know, did not finish and graduate from high school. She right. dropped out of school. She got pregnant, dropped out of school. It is what it is. Now, Fantasia has been talked so bad about because she's come out and Just said... Been dogs. She done told them she can't read. She couldn't read. She only had a whatever fifth grade level reading. Whatever. She said it. She came out and said this. To she admitted to, to it. Try to inspire young girls to stay in school. This is what I did. It's my mistake. She was trying to, you know, tell y'all her story. And they just want to criticize and make her mm. feel so bad about it. Now, what, what Fantasia also showed us 
was when she had a show with Teeny Weeny, Itty Bitty, her little brother. Right. I just wanna be loved. Right. Uh, and I feel the same since you wanna idol. Yeah. When he was on her little show, she mm -hmm. showed us her going back and getting her GED. Bitch went back to school. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then the high school gave her an honorary diploma. So she's officially graduated. Yes. She has an education. She's graduated and got the 12th grade education or whatever and she's finished. And they just still making fun of her. This still. was years ago. And, and you know, there's a light skin heifer out there. This bitch, she ain't graduate ever. But you know what she doing? Time to everybody a bad ass bitch. Bad down bitches. Bad, bad down bitches. Bad down to what? Mm. To what? To what? But they don't say nothing about her. Right. She's amazing. Yeah, she's, she's very light and she's very gold. That's why I just want you guys to realize that we are not the only haters out here. Right. Seems like y'all some haters too. Right. I'm Where's the saying. double standard? Mm hmm. But you know what? You want to refill. Wait, you didn't put no Molly in my champagne, did you? Girl, ain't nobody put no Molly in my champagne. Okay, because y'all know, know Rick Ross wrote a song, and in the song he was talking about putting Molly's people's champagne in. They didn't even know it took them home, had sex with them, broke it down, bent them over, and put it in them doggy style, and they didn't even know about it. Mm hmm. That's called date rape. That's because he's ugly as fuck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So he, he, he lost his gig at Reebok. You know, he had a part-time job at Reebok. He lost his gig at Reebok. And then uh, he put out a statement, you know, trying to apologize. Finally, at first he was giving half ass apologies. Then he tried to say he was sorry for real. But you lost a job already. Mm. I'm putting no money to my champagne because I don't like big huggy bears looking mugs, okay? Bow mm. down, bitch. Bow down. Speaking of bitches that need to bow down. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about LL Cool J. Now, I don't care about the Brad Paisley dude, the pastry or, pastry or whatever his name is. I don't really He is care. a little cute thing, though. I don't care about him. But um, LL Cool J and him wrote a song together. Got a mm -hmm. new big song out called Accidental Racist. Now, what the Brad guy is How saying. How accidentally be racist? I don't understand, but he's saying that he's considered racist by accident and the stuff he do he not really racist he don't understand how it's racist and how you know whatever don't don't judge him off of this stuff because he's not really a racist he wants some black homeboys in his life so that's what he tried to say now i'm okay with that whatever you want to do that's fine because i was good with nelly and um the one dude doing the song they did a little country art you know rap song together oh, yeah. Remember that over song? and over again over, there you go. i was okay with that tim mcgraw tim yeah. mcgraw was his name i was okay with that that was fine that was cute I like it. It was good. Now this little accident of racist stuff is a hot mess. Okay, it's a hot it's mess. A mess. How mm. you gonna say to somebody that if they can let your gold teeth and your saggy pants go, you gonna forget about the shackles and chains? That look, right. that makes absolutely no sense at no all no to sense. me. First of all, I can dress how the hell I wanna dress. If I exactly. wanna walk around with a skirt up to my eyelashes. I can do that. You can't tell me nothing about me because I ain't hurt you or harmed you in any kind of way. Exactly. Point blank period. You ain't got to like it. You ain't got to look. I don't care. I like walk, watching dudes walk around with their um, drawers out, sagging their pants. I think it's a mess. But if they want to do it, that's their business. I can't say nothing. I ain't got to look. I can look at the next man, which is what I do. Okay? But Keep what I ain't going to do is forget about slavery that my ancestors right. and their ancestors mm -hmm. had to go through for years and years for just being a color. Right. I'm not forgetting that shit. And you shouldn't either, LL. You sold out. You're a sellout and you need to bow down, bitch. That's what you need to bow do. Down, bow down, bitch. Down. Bow, bow down, that bitch. That is a hot mess. How you gonna say? Mess. I'll forget about the shackles. Oh. That is our history. Right. That is what we went to. Should forget where you came from. What is that about? How much do they pay you for this damn song? Right. And if you got paid that much, you need to break down every African American in the world. Right. I'm on reparations. That, we should Come all get a piece of that damn song because, no, I'm not forgiving shit. Because right. we walk around looking like ignorant bums. That's they fault. I'm not mm. dressing like this. And if they do want to look a mess, that's they business. That's I ain't got no with that. I'm not hurting nobody. So you know, girl, hmm. you know I got that job as a cocktail waitress, don't you? You did. Mm -hmm, up at that horse for casino. Oh, I heard about her. Everybody in the damn city got a job there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we should go down there next week and mm -hmm. holler at the men's. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Big spender. Yes. Big, big, big spender. Because you know, money makes the world go around. It really does. Mm -hmm. It makes my head look good, too. But I need new weed. You see? Ooh, girl. Girl, don't mess up my drink. Got me thinking about them men's. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Not my drink. Not my drink. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Hold on now. Don't spill my yak. Mm -mm. Okay, so mm. we're going to go to the horse cave mm -hmm. and go gamble and get some boys. And, and, and how at them men's? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Most important.
So I guess uh, we'll holler at y'all next week. That's mm -hmm. right. And I am every man's fantasy. You see me? You like it? You love it? You want more of it? Give me a call. Miss Swantavious Jackson, baby. Mm -hmm. And I am your girl, Shepata Queen, your hood fantasy, and my hair is laid like Miss Janet Jackson. Okay, and we are the, the Haters. Bye-bye. See you later.